share it with your friends, all that cool stuff. Check me out on my website at jwcollinsauthor.com. You have access there to all my books and my cool videos as well too, and some free stuff, a lot of free stuff there. So, how to pick up licks off of a record. And this is a classic one to start with. Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama. The first mistake that most people make, most guys make when they're trying to pick up tunes off a record, is that the first thing is, they don't have their guitar close to the sound of the guitar uh, of the guy who is playing the lick that you want to copy. So for Sweet Home Alabama, it's pretty distinctive that lick is, he's obviously playing a strat, he's obviously on the fourth position, but so many times you'll have guys trying to pick it up like this. If this is if this is what they're doing, and you got guys with this kind of sound going on, you know, it's just not, it's just not the same sound. It's not even close. So you got to have your ear uh, able to pick up the sound as close as possible to what they're doing. Now, if you're if you're playing a Les Paul, for example, and you don't have a strap, well, to pick up that tune, you put it on the back pickup. You just you have to emulate as close as possible the sound of the guitar on the record that you're trying to duplicate. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, when someone is trying to learn a tune, they'll put the tune on, and here we go. So here's here's Leonard Skinner starting this tune. And you're trying to listen to it, you're trying to pick it up off a record. Here's what happens. Now they might stop it there. And then they're going to try to play it. Well, too many notes have gone by. There's no way on God's green earth you're ever going to pick up what was it he was doing. Um, the trick is to find that first note. Let maybe two notes, two or three notes go by. Uh, two, uh, you know, if, if you absolutely have to. One, if you, if you absolutely need to find out what's that first note, then listen to it and stop the record. Stop the CD, whatever it is. Stop it. Hear that first note and stop it. Stop the record and find it on your guitar. Okay? So if you hear this, stop it, find it on your guitar. Another tip is he playing, if you find the note and you know it's a D note, is he playing an open D? Or is he playing the lick starting here with a fifth string on the fifth fret? You gotta be able to decipher between an open note and a closed note to what he's doing. Okay. So you you found out you 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 discovered that you that they're starting on the open D. Okay, here we go. Perfect, we got that. Okay, we're good. Now let two more notes go by. Once you find the first two, first one or two, 
Let two more go by. What's he doing? Stop it. Right there. After that, stop those two notes and find it on your guitar. Again, where's he doing it? Here? You know? Well, it's close, but it's a little, a little muddy, right? It's not quite as snappy. So, obviously, he's playing a D chord and he's doing it right there. Sounds just like the record. Okay? Then, once you got those, two more notes. What are the next two notes? Right there. Stop it right there. And find those two notes. Once you find those, you go to the next two. And you string this all together. Of course, you're just putting it together as you're learning it. Okay. Okay, as you can hear, okay, he's doing that like twice. Right? Okay, so now we have. Okay. Two more notes after that. What's he doing after that? Okay, we have the same two licks again. Going on. Okay. You start putting it all together. The next two notes. Open third again down to a G note. Okay. And then maybe you can let uh, three notes go by because after that the phrase kind of stops and breaks for a bit. So, two finger chord chop. Finishes it. So there's the intro. Piece by piece. Note by note. Stop it. Couple of notes, let a couple of notes go by, find it on your guitar. Okay, there's the first phrase right there, the first three three main licks right there. Another another tip, uh, once you get all that down and you figure out the whole thing, you have to train your ear to hear the subtleties. Most uh, there's a million guys on YouTube who have shown how to play Sweet Home Alabama. Most of the ones I've watched do not get what I like to call the little tickety-boos in there. And those little tickety-boos are extremely important. The little mutes, the little snaps, the little syncopated snaps and ticks. And if you listen real close to the original Sweet Home Alabama, it sounds like this. <laughs> sound like this. There's no mutes, there's no ticks, there's no little uh, uh, nuances or subtleties. So you have to hear those little ticks and, and get used to, to playing them. And, and it's, it's different if you're using a flat pick uh, how to get those little ticks in there uh, with my fingers, uh, finger style guitar. I'm using my right hand to do uh, a tick. My, my first finger, for example, that kind of a thing. I'm doing mutes with my left hand. Like for, Here's a good example on that first lick when they do the two open D notes, okay? It's not this. No. It's this. The first note is killed. See? So I'm just bringing my third finger down, my ring finger down, and I'm just laying it on the on the string. I'm not pressing it down on the fretboard. I don't want to make this happen. I'm just pressing it on, just laying it on the string to kill the sound. Like that. And I let the second one ring. Okay? Here's the first little ticket boot. I'll give you an idea what, what I'm talking about here. That. Okay. That stuff is extremely important. That's that's what makes a guitar player is listening to those 
subtleties in getting them. It's left hand mutes, right hand mutes, uh, right hand tickety boos. <laughs> for that down the road make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my website with my books and uh, comment on the video if you have any questions please leave comments below something you'd like to see if you have any questions something I'd like to you'd like me to, to answer or something like whatever uh, let me know because I'd love to hear from you until next time I will see you then and have the best day you can thanks Thank you.